question number 171 in a normal adult human the sperm count is 300 million per ejaculation how many sperms must have normal shape size and vigorous motility for normal fertility per ejaculation so three things should be remembered normal shape size and vigorous motility and the options given are 86 million 90 million 72 million 180 million now sperm count given is 300 million per ejaculate and because sperms with normal shape and size are 60% of sperm count and 40% of them so sperm with normal shape size and motility would be 300 into 60% of it into 40% of it and that would be equal to 72 million so the correct answer to this question is option number 3 72 million let's move on to the next question question number 172 germinal epithelium is present at the inner lining of and the options given are vas deferens urethra seminiferous tubules fallopian tube epithelium present at the inner lining of seminiferous tubule is known as germinal epithelium formed by simple cuboidal epithelium and is responsible for gamete formation so this germinal epithelium is simple cuboidal epithelium that lines seminiferous tubules so the correct answer is option number three whereas rest of the options option number one vast difference option number two urethra and option number four fallopian tube are in correct option ciliated epithelium is present in fallopian tube so the correct answer is option number three let's move on to the next question question number 173 a cellular layer which comes out along with ovum during ovulation is and the options given are corona radiata zona pellucida membrana granulosa theca interna and the correct answer to this question is option number two zona pellucida is a acellular it's a glycoproteinaceous layer acellular layer that surrounds ovum and comes out during fertilization let's discuss rest of the options option number three membrana granulosa and option number four theca interna are incorrect options because these layers are present in graphene follicle but do not come out during ovulation option number one corona radiata is an incorrect option because it is a cellular layer around ovum so the correct answer to this question is option number two zona pellucida let's discuss our next question question number 174 if mammalian ovum fails to get fertilized which of the following is least likely to happen and the options given are corpus luteum will degenerate option number two progesterone secretion rapidly declines option number three endometrium of uterus is not maintained and the last option given is increase in blood supply of uterus and the correct answer to this question is option number four increase in blood supply of uterus because as option number two says progesterone secretion rapidly declines this will lead to decrease in blood supply to uterus so option number two cannot be a correct answer also Apart from that, after ovulation, decrease in LH causes degeneration of corpus luteum. So, option number one cannot be a correct answer. And endometrium of uterus undergoes degeneration causing disintegration to start menstruation. So, option number three is also an incorrect option as all these steps happens if mammalian ovum fails to get 
fertilized so the correct answer to this question is option number 4 let's discuss our next question question number 175 read the following statements and select option with only correct statements the very first statement says the main function of corpus luteum is to produce progesterone and this is a correct statement because corpus luteum mainly produces progesterone and some estrogen. The next statement says HCG stimulates secretion of progesterone from corpus luteum of pregnancy as well as from placenta. And this is also a correct statement because human chorionic gonadotropin, it stimulates the secretion of progesterone from corpus luteum of pregnancy as well as from placenta. Next statement says, progesterone is considered as abortion hormone as it prevents abortion. And this is an incorrect statement because progesterone is considered as pregnancy hormone. And this hormone maintains pregnancy, hence called anti-abortion hormone. The next statement given is placenta is responsible for removal of carbon dioxide and excretory waste products from mother. And this is an incorrect statement because placenta supply oxygen and nutrients to developing embryo and remove carbon dioxide and excretory waste from fetus through mother and not from mother. So statement A and B are correct statements. So the correct answer is option number one. Whereas option number 2, B and C cannot be a correct answer because statement C is incorrect. C and D cannot be an incorrect answer because statement C and D both are incorrect. Option number 4, A and D is an incorrect option as statement D is incorrect. And the correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's discuss our next question. 